Hey, hey, it's Belay, and you're watching Belay TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinematographer, just a dude with a camera. Anyways, we are propagating yucca plants. Yucca, you know, they grow in the desert. They do really well. They're easy to, you know, to root. And there's a few different methods on how we do this. This plant, incidentally, was my, always my dad's favorite plant. I remember him, one day we were driving, you know, someplace, I forgot where it was, and he saw that somebody had just trimmed a bunch of their bushes and he pulled up out front, and this was in the 60s, probably, and they had a bunch of yucca, and he opened up the back door of his, no, it was in the 70s, he opened up the back door of his LTD station wagon, and he threw a couple of chunks in there, and then before you know it, our whole pool was surrounded by yuccas. So, he used to have me yank off all of these on all of our plants throughout the whole yard. It kind of bothered me when I was younger, but I kind of enjoy it now. I have, you know, so many yuccas going around in my yard that every few months you have to do this. And this is how you get the length out of it. The more you trim, the taller it's going to get, because you can see that's all new height. And then whenever, if you keep them trimmed, they will start producing little pups off of the side. So what I've done here is I've taken four cuttings, like so, and I'm going to show you how to go from this, I can't snap, go from this to this in just a few short weeks. So sit tight, watch the video, we're going to propagate these a few different ways. These are about two and a half week, two and a half months to get roots like this. So hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching Filet TV. All right, you, rooting yuccas is one of the easiest things to do. You pretty much could cut them off, put them in the ground, and they will grow. And as you can see, all these little pups have come just since I've made these couple of cuts two month, two and a half months ago. So what I always do is I put these into groups of three. And as you can see, I mean, I've taken quite a few cuts off, but you know, once it gets a bulb going and it starts to sprout, it goes like crazy. This is the mother tree that I started with. I've been growing this one for about eight years or so, maybe a little bit longer. And you can see I've taken numerous cuts off of this. And over here is another one that is also producing like crazy. And do you see, I've cut it down to back to three. And then what I do is I take three at a time and I start them in a pot. You can see various ages here and I propagate them down and I have them in pots like I said of three and so what we're going to do is we're going to come through here and cut off the excess and bring them back to three and then I'm going to show you how to a few different ways to root these as they are so simple all right, so I'm gonna put the camera down and take a couple more cuts. Okay, as you can see, I've made four nice cuts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these down to about, oh, I don't know, here. Okay. And that's really important if you take all of these Take all of these off. To ensure that you're not gonna have so much dye back. Because it will dry out a bit. The idea is lots of water and put it in the shade. And 
And these come off real easy. If you always pull the bottom one first. Come, they come off real simple. Okay, these cuttings are all trimmed up, stripped some of the leaves off. I guess I could take more off, but maybe I'll do that as I go along. So I've got a nice rich soil because my idea is in the next couple months I want these to get as root bound as possible because they are going to get moved to the desert and neglected. So I want as much root growth as possible. So I normally would make a hole in here with my trusty conduit, but you know, these things are strong enough and I'm just going to try and settle them in there. I don't need to, I won't make a hole. I'm going to try and settle these all the way down because it was noticed in the pictures before the roots are going to grow up here. So I'm going to try and get these all the way in. And give them a good pack down. That one's actually a little bit long. These are nice sturdy plants. You don't have to worry about, you know, harming them as you're pushing them in. But, you know, I had, the soil is pretty well packed. So I'm just going to use my conduit and loosen it up a bit and slip these all the way down and pack the soil in. And I will top off each one of these pots with a little bit more soil. But as you can see, I've dated them August 31st, 2020. So I know when these first got planted and approximately how long it'll be until, until they root. And with that said, we have four fresh ones. And like I said, I'll probably go through here and take you know these down quite a bit further because there's no need for all these extra leaves. I really like the plant to focus on root growth, not on maintaining all these extra leaves. And this one is a bit long for a small pot, but I'll get a little bit more soil in there, get it packed in. Okay, now it's time to give them another good drink of water and get them moved into a comfortable spot where they can grow freely. Okay, the new yuccas, like I said, dated pots, have been moved into the shade underneath the uh, Easy Up. I put them over here with the other 24 that I have already started. Some are pups that I just potted up and some were from just a few months ago. But here they'll sit just for a few weeks until they settle in and then they'll get moved over to the shade over on this side of the property. So my goal was to have 60 of these by the 1st of November before it starts getting too cold in the desert. And so far we're doing pretty good. I still have another 30 or so more to cultivate, which I have growing ready. And I will keep you guys updated on these in about two months. We will yank these out of the dirt and we will take a look at the roots. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you can find me on Instagram at Filet TV channel. Thanks for watching. Be well.